Let's take a look at the back of an MX400 to 550 patient monitor with a standard interface board. Now the first thing you notice is that big orange LAN connector or local area network connector. Now that's where we plug in our network cable and by plugging in the network cable that's what sends the information to the surveillance station. Next is a DVI or digital video interface connector. Now that connector will allow me to have a slave display with the same screen that's on my host monitor but just in a different location like outside the room. We also have a USB port. That USB port can be used for a keyboard, a mouse, barcode reader, or a USB printer if you have one. What it cannot be used for is to charge your smartphone. Now, looking at an MX700 and 800, you'll notice that we have four USB connectors. Again, the same functionality as on the 400 to 550 MX monitors. We can use it for a keyboard, a mouse, barcode reader, or a USB printer. But again, you cannot use it to charge a smartphone. Below that is the nurse call alarm. Now that's not push the button and you run to the patient's room. This is an interface that allows me to have an alarm outside of the room for a power off condition or three programmable alarms, such as an in-op condition, a red alarm, or a yellow alarm, for example. Below that is my MIB RS-232. Now that's a big word or a lot of letters, but what it allows me to do is to connect my G5 gas analyzer to my monitor and display all the waveforms and numeric values on my screen. So we can see oh, any of the anesthesia gases or waveforms on my primary screen. Next is the network connector. Just like in the 400 to 550, this is where we connect the network cable and it allows the monitor to show its information at a surveillance station. Below that is our DVI connector, very similar and same functionality as with the 400 to 550. I can have a slave display, but it has the same resolution as on my primary screen. Now next down, is my MSL connector. Now that will connect to a module rack and that's where all the patient data comes in and it has an eight module rack for example and I can plug in any modules that are currently compatible with an IntelliView model. Anything like additional invasive pressure modules, uh, temperature module, um, an NMT or EEG, any of the modules that are currently compatible with IntelliView patient monitors can be used in the module rack. 